Today I'm going to show you how to upload audio stems from your songs into your Synthstrom Deluge, this thing. So let's get started. So what are you going to need? Uh, let's just take it to this. So you're going to need a cup of coffee. You need a Synthstrom Deluge. Let's power that on. Oops. Good thing I've isolated the audio tracks. Um, you're going to need, so this is connected to my computer, this is my SD card reader, uh, that's connected to the camera. You're going to need a tea cake as a reward for when you've done this, but actually it's not going to be that hard. So, where do we start? Well, we start from the desktop. So this is a song that I have made that has uh, is organised so that I can get the stems out of it. I've divided it up into intro, verse, and I put how many bars are in each section up there. And then each track, I've got drums, bass, FX1, FX2, keys, vox, vox backing. So Right, so we've got our songs. And I just want to get all of these across, across the deluge. Here's what it's going to look like. You're going to have section 1, section 2, section 3, section 4. All of the different parts that you want for each section. So if it... For, so we can just queue up the second section like that. This is kind of a long one, <laughs> unfortunately. But this is this is, is so it's an opinionated workflow. But here we go. So you see that's going to go through each part of the song, where you can just always. And we have color coded lights for the different parts. And, and I've just kind of thought about it, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Here's our song. So how do we export these tracks? We're going to select the time. In fact, we, we only need to select like that. And then we command click each of these tracks that we want. And then we go, you can do export audio video or command shift R. Uh, selected tracks only in there, export. And then we need to follow the naming convention, which I have mentioned in uh, the blog post that goes with this. Um, is going to be so GC zero. So it's get connected zero section zero. We could say like section zero, but I'll put zero. It's eight bars. I've written that there just to remind myself eight bars. We save that out. And now on our desktop, we have get connected zero, eight bars, bass, drums, backing vox. And then we just go through the whole song, select this. We go click, 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 click. We go command shift R, we go export. Uh, we call it it's section one and it's 16 bars save and we're just going to render those out and um, maybe I should be doing these as 16-bit WAVs but you know you can you can decide what format you want and let's just uh, we'll do one more and we'll do the chorus and that's going to be uh, blah 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 click select those we know the time export and then that's that chorus is that the same length have i got that right i mean you can always move around yeah so that's 16 16. so get connected to it's going to be 16 bars save and here we are with all of our tracks and you see they sort into the right order so that's quite handy for us now what do we do next well it's quite fun what we do next we launch an app i made called the deluge stems uploader and that pops up a window like this, which is going to be a new song. And what we do here is select all those files, drag them in. And that is going to give us, if we just resize the window a little bit, um, that's going to give us all of our songs, all of our, all of our tracks in a big list. Um, and we will say, Let's call this, uh, let's put this on our desktop as well. Uh, desktop. So I'll call this get connected and demo, I think. Press enter. Um, uh, you don't actually need to set this. It's just set when you save the file anyway. So what's that going to do? That is going to, oh, oh by the way, when you, when you do put, save these files, just make sure you put them in a folder where they're going to stay. So don't actually put them on your desktop. You're going to want to make a folder because the paths to those are going to be saved in here. So um, now you've got this list and you can play back. You can have a listen to what each one is if you forget and check them. 
I mean, they're not going to be synchronized or anything. But all you need to do now, pick any one of these where you know the number of bars and just click the number of beats. Well, eight bars is like, is that right? 32 beats? You can, eight bars, look, and now that says eight bars. And by selecting one that I know is 32 beats, eight bars, I can see that they've all been now updated. The length of all of the stems has been updated. So you just do that on one of them, whichever is the most convenient. And if they're all different time lengths, then that's fine. As long as you know, like the length of one of them, this drop down only has like sort of power of two lengths. So as long as you've got one in there, that's that kind of length, then it will automatically set it for all of them. And um, the next thing you do is you can, um, you set what section. So these are all section zero. And then as soon as we see section one starts, we can just like click through, make sure they're all in section one. And that's gonna lay them out uh, nicely. And then we've got section two starts here. So we just set them all to section two. And then finally, just color code them. So I'm gonna say bass is red. I'm gonna say drums are, well, what do I like? Yeah, let's just do it like this. Let's do them in order. So each section, FX, I'm gonna have both yellow keys and then Vox and Vox backing. <laughs> so that's our seven colors. And then we can go back through bass, drums, FX2, uh, keys is green, Vox, Vox backing. And now that's our song. We can save that. And then how do we get this onto the deluge? Well, we just grab our SD card. We pop it there. And now look, export to deluge. So if I hit export to deluge, it's gonna, well, first it's gonna ask you if it can do it. And then it's just gonna copy them all across. And just, just so you know, your SD card has to be called deluge. So now all we've got to do, if, well, we click eject next. That's gonna eject the, uh, it's gonna eject the deluge card. We can pull that out and we can stick that back in the deluge. Load, uh, get, there should be two get connected. Get connected demo, I think that is. Yeah, that's get connected demo. Load, and there it is, look. So we've got section one color coded, FX, red, orange, green, through to the different colors, and we can go intro. It doesn't set the tempo. <laughs> I haven't figured out how to set the tempo yet, so you will have to just edit it and save it to set the tempo. But apart from that... See, so we're in section two, and we can turn off the vocals, and we can come into the chorus. Maybe I'll just come... Here we are now. I think I forgot to select the drums, but... <laughs> and then, of course, you can just go... And just start remixing it. Right, so yeah, so that's, it's as simple as that. So all you gotta do, follow the naming convention so that, that for the ease of use of the tool, grab this tool from my website and um, I'm charging some money for it because I just think if people are uh, up for paying for this, then I can make more tools and, and it's, it's time well spent for me. And um, once you've done all that, you can just unwrap your tea cake and eat it.